grid mode in the project panel already lets us better visualize elements through the thumbnail system. But to view them even more effectively, we have the option of displaying these elements in the viewer, which is located in the center. In the project panel, simply double click on one of the elements to display it in the viewer. While it's being displayed, you'll notice a mini timeline at the bottom that lets you navigate through time. Since this is a static PNG image, this timeline serves no purpose. But now, if we double click on the QuickTime animation in the project panel, you'll see that using this timeline allows us to navigate through the images that make up this animation. When we double click on a graphic element that we have in the project panel, it appears in the viewer. Its name is displayed at the top of the viewer in orange and it has an orange frame. We'll go over the significance of this orange color a bit later. If you right click on one of the elements in the project panel, there's a second way of getting this image to the viewer. You can select the option to show this image in viewer one. Viewer 1 here refers to the name of the panel defined for this viewer. You can actually rename any of the panels by just double-clicking on the name. For example, you can rename Viewer 1 to My Viewer. If you right-click on the element in the project panel, now you can see that it's possible to send it to My Viewer, and more specifically to the main view. We'll focus on the main view only for now, and we'll explain the concept of dual input for viewers a bit later. By selecting main view, you'll see that our graphic element from the project panel is now connected to the viewer. If you click on the element's name, you can see that it's possible to disconnect it from the viewer. Right now, the list below is empty because it's meant to list what we'll later call compositions. Compositions in Autograph are essentially containers where you can merge these different images to create a single composite final image. Since we haven't created any compositions yet, the list that references them is currently empty. When disconnecting a source from the viewer, like by clicking on the disconnect button, this icon appears in the viewer indicating that no source is connected. But if you double-click on an element in the project panel again, you can reconnect an element to the viewer, whether it be a static image or an animation, which will also display the mini timeline to navigate in time. To show or hide this mini timeline, simply click on the clock icon at the bottom of the viewer. Depending on the type of element you're inspecting in the viewer, you can hide or show this timeline to maximize space for your image. In this video, we went over how to connect a source to a viewer, rename a panel, and show or hide the mini timeline.